If I was to ask you to sum up Kia in one word, there's a good chance you'd come back with something like affordable, practical or sensible. One word that might not spring to mind is luxurious, but that, says Kia, is exactly what this third generation of Sorento was designed to be when it was launched in 2015. And now the company is adding what it calls a sporty flourish as part of a midlife facelift that includes the introduction of this rather fetching GT Line S specification. Question is, can a Kia SUV really pull off the trick of being luxurious and sporty? Or even either of those things come to that? Well, on the luxury front, things get off to a good start by the fact that I've got a powered seat, but also the fact that this is the most expensive Kia on sale in the UK today. At £43,950, it costs more even than the high-performance Stinger GTS and goes into competition with some pretty hefty players in the SUV world. Luckily, it has an equally hefty list of standard equipment. There's 19-inch alloy wheels, stainless steel side steps, a panoramic sunroof with an automatic electric one-touch roll blinds, LED headlights with dynamic bending, rain-sensing wipers, twin exhaust, leather upholstery with contrasting stitching, heated and ventilated power adjustable front seats, a heated steering wheel, rear side window blinds, power tailgate, adaptive smart cruise control, Harman Kardon premium sound system with 10 speakers, a wireless phone charger, 360 degree surround view camera, auto parking, lane departure warning, blind spot monitors and a kitchen sink. Of course, having all that equipment would be for nothing if the Sorento felt bargain basement inside, but do you know, it just doesn't really. Especially this GT Line S specification, which comes with digital speedo and this really nice central infotainment screen and just feels generally very well built. Whether you could call it truly luxurious or sporty, I think we'd better go for a drive to find out. The first thing you notice when talking about a luxurious and or sporty driving experience is that the Sorento is not powered by some big petrol V8, but instead gets a diesel and a four cylinder one at that. Admittedly at 2.2 litres, it's bigger than you'll find in most cars, but it still lacks either the sophisticated silence or the powerful purr that you get in a true luxury car. And it's particularly noisy or when you accelerate hard. With 197 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque, it's not short on power, but at 2.6 tonnes, this is also a heavy car. As a result, getting from 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 9.6 seconds. So all these sporty body additions, it's really a bit like me putting on a pair of running shoes and saying I could beat Usain Bolt. I could, you know. That said, the eight-speed automatic gearbox, which is new for this 2018 facelift, does add a bit of effortless luxury compared with the clunky six-speed manual. The larger wheels of this top spec model also kick up a bit of road noise, although otherwise the Sorento is a refined cruiser. Anybody expecting the Sorento to feel sporty in the corners is going to come away disappointed. This is a big, tall and very heavy SUV after all, and it has fairly soft suspension. Now the upshot of that is the ride is really quite pleasant. OK, we're still not talking Range Rover levels of smooth here, but then we're not talking Range Rover prices either. Anybody knows how to switch those Kia jingles off, please let us know in the comments below. Right, the other thing this Sorento offers is a lot of space, which to some people is a luxury in its own right. The boot is simply vast and includes two extra seats to turn the Sorento into a seven-seater. By the standards of seven-seat SUVs, that third row of seats is actually not too bad either. And the second row, there's loads of room, flat floor, which helps create more space for the person in the middle. And you can slide the seats back and forward and adjust the backrest. The only slight disappointment is that you don't get three individual rear seats. So there's no Isofix mounting points in the middle, which is obviously not ideal if you've got a big family. Mind you, having five screaming kids in the car is hardly synonymous with luxury, is it? Nor, you might argue, is the fact that thanks to its standard fit four-wheel drive system and good towing ability, the Sorento is very popular with those who indulge in that hugely luxurious pastime of um, caravanning. 
don't get me wrong, this is a good SUV in a good many ways, not to mention yet more evidence of just how far Kia has come in recent years. However, if what you're after is a truly luxurious or a truly sporty SUV, I'm not sure the Sorento quite hits the mark. Right, that's it for today's video. All that leaves me to say is please don't forget to subscribe and to find a great deal from a top-rated dealer on your next car, don't forget to head to cargurus.co.uk.